Let's review what we've learned about the Pythagorean theorem. In The Wizard of Oz, the Scarecrow said, the sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square roots of the remaining side. And we have learned that he was wrong. It isn't an isosceles triangle at all, but instead it's a right triangle, meaning it has to have one right angle. And the side across from that right angle is called the hypotenuse. And we usually use a little letter C to, to uh, label it. The other two sides are called legs. They're right next to that right angle. And we usually label those A and B. Okay, and it isn't square roots that we're talking about, but instead squares. We learn by exploration and by um, uh, trying drawing them out that if you draw a square here and a square here, that the area of those two squares will add up to the area of the square off the hypotenuse. So if this side length here is A, then the whole square is A squared. If this side length B is B, then the whole area is B squared. And if the side length here is C, then this whole area is C squared. And so the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or the sum of the squares drawn off the legs of a right triangle equals the square drawn off the hypotenuse of the same right triangle. And you can go ahead and put numbers in there. So if we had a equal to 2, 2 squared, and b equal to 3, 3 squared, and we're trying to figure out c, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9, which means that we need to add these together, that would be 13, and then taking the square root of each side, which is where I think the square scroll, uh, sorry, the scarecrow got confused, c must be the square root of 13. So there's a little quick review of the Pythagorean theorem.